got to tell you, UNO has a really scrappy team, and, you know, they have some good hitters, and, you know, they challenged Marceau, but I think he struck out five, if I'm not mistaken, in three innings, got a couple of really clutch strikeouts, and then gave us a clean third inning, which was nice. We didn't have many clean innings today, and uh, he gave us one of them, but Marceau, you know, he's going to be a really critical guy for us all year, and I think he showed tonight what he's capable of doing, and I think he's even better than that, and he will continue to get better, but that'll be his last outing now of fall practice. We'll shut him down because we know he's, he'll be ready to go in the spring and we'll n take no risk for injury with him the rest of the way. What do you think Jaden's issues were tonight? Well, I, I give credit to their team, honestly. You know, the single, double, and home run were all, were all on like 92, 93 mile an hour fastballs, and they just put good hit, good swings on them, you know, and, and the kid hit a three-run homer after following a double and a single. So I'm not so sure they were bad pitches as much as they just did a good job against them. And uh, Jaden will learn he's got to change speeds more often, and he's going to have to be in the sh – I mean, you can't be afraid to throw a 93-mile-an-hour fastball in the strike zone. And he did, and they hit it. But I think in, in the future, when he mixes his pitches up a little bit more, he'll be more effective. But he's going to be a guy we're going to count on as well. Seemed like Drew did some good things for you guys. That what have you been seeing from him all fall? Yeah, Drew. Drew is a, a tough, hard-nosed ball player, and uh, he had some a couple of good at bats early in the game. Made a nice play coming in on a soft ground ball, and uh, you know, I mean, he, you know, he, you know, he had a couple of not so great at bats later in the game too. So he's going to have to improve as well. But uh, you know, I think uh, you know today was a great. It was a great day that we got to do this. Um, I don't. Like I told the guys, and I wish you guys wouldn't even report the final score because it's not, it wasn't a true game, you know. I mean, we kept shut. Whether it hurt us more or them more, I don't know. Both, both teams had innings shut down, and we were doing some things that we wouldn't typically do. So I wouldn't really worry. That's why I kept saying, I'm not even worried about the final score. But it was clear to me that there's a lot of areas that we need to improve in. There's no question about that. But I think there were some things we did really good. I thought Riggs Threadgill threw really well for us tonight. And that was very encouraging. He threw a lot of strikes. But, you know, we got We have to, be, we, you know, some of the young players aren't quite ready and they gotta, they gotta get better. The more experience they get, they'll, they'll get better. Uh, and we need to throw more strikes. We threw just too many balls. So not just so, not just walking batters, but we fall behind in counts and then have to lay one in there and they hit them. So there's a lot of areas for us to still improve in, obviously. But, you know, we didn't have Garza tonight. We didn't have Josh playing short. You know, we didn't use any of our, you know, you know, our veteran pitchers that we've shut down. So, you know, and the innings were stopped. But it was just good to get out here against somebody else with some people in the stands. And it was a lot, it was really fun to be out here again, that's for sure. I guess, how, I mean, just real quick, how'd you feel about Josh kind of being back out there? How's he feeling? Well, you know, he wasn't even going to play at all. And then he came to my office this morning and begged me to get in there. And I said, what do you mean get in there? You haven't even swung a bat all week. He's not ready to throw a ball. So he was just talking about, you know, DHing. But then he, you know, he went down to the cages with the trainer and we let him take batting practice and he felt good. So it's been, you know, he hasn't played in, in a game in so long. He wanted to get in there and I'm glad he got three at bats. And then we were able to get Willis four, four appearances. So, you know, um, it was good to have him back out there. But hopefully, you know, in a couple of weeks when we play again, he'll be able to play shortstop as well. And he's going to be ready to go. He's, he's looked good this fall, except he, you know, he bruised his sh throwing shoulder, so he hadn't been able to play in a week.